Oof, I'm looking extra queens today. <laughs> hey there everyone, this is Jessica from domesticatedme.com and today we're talking about the Tiffany and Nike collaboration. The photos of the sneakers have been leaked and oh my God, they are really underwhelming. So let's talk about it. So if you were like me, you were probably thinking, okay, here is one of the world's leading athletic apparel companies teaming up with this LVMH brand, one an iconic jewelry company, and it's gonna be incredible. And if you were like me, you were probably, like I said, underwhelmed. In today's video, I'm gonna go over some of the details about these sneakers in particular and the pieces, the whole collection, but I'm also gonna be sharing some insider information that I received, some confirmed, some rumors by the time you watch this. So make sure that you watch all the way through to the end so that you can find out information about how to cop these if you are interested in purchasing a pair. So what do these sneakers look like? They are Air Force Ones in black nubuck with a Tiffany blue swoosh. It has Tiffany in that Tiffany script on the tongue. It also has a silver piece on the back with Tiffany branding and 925. For those of you who are not familiar with Tiffany jewelry or just jewelry in general, 925 means that that piece is 92.5% silver. It comes with extra laces in the colors Tiffany blue, yellow, and white. The interior soles of the sneakers are in Tiffany blue, and then there are two little Tiffany blue circles on the bottoms of the shoes. So let's talk about what they could have looked at. Now, from what I'm hearing, most people think that this would have been a much better sneaker if it were in white and I would agree I feel like white just goes with that Tiffany blue color really really well while the silver plaque on the back of the sneaker is nice and fine personally I feel like it would have been great to see a return to Tiffany tag somewhere on the sneaker or a little charm hanging off of it if you're familiar with Tiffany they're known for their return to Tiffany tags uh, jewelry pieces with little hearts or round tags that say return to Tiffany they also sell charms for their bracelets and they have a lot of adorable little charms I would have loved to have seen like a little Tiffany blue shopping tote, a little shopping bag hanging off of it, you know, something like that. I would have loved to have seen a Tiffany blue tread on the bottom or just more of that blue in general on the outside of the shoe in places that you can see, not just the bottom. There are actually some Tiffany by Nike sneaker designs that came out that were designed by AI. And even those were way more creative than what we see in this collection. Although I'm not a huge fan of those sneakers, again, you could just see more creativity even with these AI derived samples. For example, in this version, you see a very large return to Tiffany heart tag on the exterior of the shoe. I even appreciate this version, which is in a sort of metallic Tiffany blue color and again because Tiffany is known for their silver the Tiffany blue this is like a nice combination of those elements we even see a much better design with artists who customize sneakers and in particular I'm talking about the collaboration between Nike SB and Nikki Diamond for Diamond Supply Company again this is not in any way affiliated with Nike or Tiffany these are just artists that customize sneakers and in fact I don't believe this were this was even designed to look like Tiffany it's just a colorway that they chose and a lot of people associate Tiffany with that color and again this is where you see creativity so here are what is known now as the Tiffany dunks these sneakers feature a faux croc embossed print a lot more of that Tiffany blue throughout the sneaker and a silver swoosh but this collaboration isn't just the sneakers the collection features a shoehorn a whistle a sneaker brush silver dubre now personally I feel like that should have come with the sneaker the dubre I was mentioning that I wish that they had more silver pieces in the sneakers this is where you get it but it looks like it'll come at an additional cost and these pieces make sense to me because if you're familiar with Tiffany you know that they make homeware and glassware they make things like really fancy board games and bikes and even baby rattles so this makes sense to me so how did this collaboration come about? Well, we have to look at the history of Tiffany. Tiffany was founded in 1837 and was primarily a jewelry company, but also glassware. Their lamps, for example, are very, very famous. Uh, there's actually a exhibit here at the Queens Museum, which show, showcases their glass and their lamps in particular. Their factory, their glass factory was out here in Queens, so it would make sense. Tiffany has always been a beloved 
brand among a certain group of consumer, especially here in New York City. Of course, Tiffany has always had their super exquisite and expensive jewelry. Their diamond engagement rings are famous, but they also have attainable glassware and silver pieces. I think the brand became much more known worldwide and to the everyday person thanks to the Audrey Hepburn film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Personally, I think from my experience growing up here in New York City, those return to Tiffany pieces, the necklace, the bracelet especially, you would see that a lot as a gift given to graduates in high school and college. So it's always something that if you live in New York City, you're familiar with them. Over the recent years, Tiffany has definitely tried to attain a younger, more trendy consumer. And you can see that with ambassadorships with people like Beyonce and Jay-Z and La Divina, Anya Taylor-Joy, and collaboration pieces like a Wilson basketball with Daniel Arsham, jewelry and t-shirts with Supreme, and then of course, baguettes with Fendi. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this leather nano baguette and the silk nano baguette, definitely check out the description box below or click over here to check that out. And actually, this is a perfect opportunity for me to introduce myself. Hey there, if you're new here, my name is Jessica Flores and I am a lifestyle blogger and YouTuber. I cover everything from fashion to beauty, luxury, family, travel, you name it, I cover it all. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can set up your notifications for all. That that way, whenever my videos go out, you will be notified and you won't miss a thing. So this collaboration with Nike is just the latest iteration of a marketing campaign that is meant to reach younger, more hip consumers. Now I'm gonna give you my opinion, to be honest. Again, you all know, I've said it many times here, I think, I was underwhelmed by what they came out with, in particular with the sneaker. I think they could have done a much better job. I've given you examples of what I would have liked to have seen on the sneaker. However, I am a New Yorker and I wear black every single day, no matter what day, no matter what day of the year, no matter what season, I could wear black and I do wear black. And just having that blue swoosh is what I normally would consider wearing a pop of color. It's usually a lot of black and then I'll have one little thing that is color and that is as colorful as I usually get. So for me, it does fit my aesthetic and my wardrobe. Would I have loved to have seen all the other elements? Of course, but the more I look at the sneakers, the more I feel like they're very me and the more that I like them and the more that I want to buy a pair. The price for these sneakers are $400 and if you've been following my channel, you know that I have unboxed quite a number of designer and designer collaboration sneakers. So for the price of what I'm used to paying for those sneakers, $400 isn't that bad. I was joking around with my nephew and saying, you know what, that's like $200 for each one, that's not bad. I could always find a reason and I can always talk myself into purchasing something. So again, for me, $400 isn't that bad. It might be a little bit too much for you. It certainly is not a price tag that is uh, reflective of the creativity behind this design but if you're a sneaker person and I by no means am not a sneaker head I would never claim such a title I am not worthy but for me it would make sense but it may not for you and hopefully this video will help you figure out whether these sneakers are meant for you or not now if you do want these sneakers I have some information that I've gotten from a source and these some of these might have been confirmed by the time this video is uploaded so I will let you know what I know and then we'll see what happens okay so the release date is March 7th that has been confirmed they will be available at the Tiffany's on Fifth Avenue and the Soho Boutique. They will also be available at certain Nike locations. I don't know which ones they are yet, but I believe that has been confirmed and it will also be available on the Nike sneakers app. So here is the rumor that I've heard. It will be a lottery system, but if you have a spend history with Tiffany, which means you've purchased from Tiffany uh, recently and have spent a good amount of money at Tiffany's recently, you will be able to access these pieces at a limited amount before that lottery becomes available. This is not confirmed, this is rumor. As I find out things, I will update you in a story here on my channel and on my Instagram. And by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, now is a good opportunity to pull out your phone and search for me. I am at Jessica Y. Flores. And again, I will post it in a story once I have this confirmed and I have the lottery system or any of those details before March 7th. But if you have a sales associate, now is a good opportunity to reach out to them, let them know that you're interested, and 
also share that content information with me, please, <laughs> because as you know, I am interested. I hope this video was informative and helpful to you, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube. And again, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.